In today's video, I will try to fix this iPad, model number A1893. This iPad came from another shop as a dead piece. It's not turning on. So let me try to fix it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman. In this channel, I do repair video tutorials and some review for the tools and equipment we use in the repair business. So if you are interested, consider subscribing. The first thing I want to do here is to confirm the problem. Maybe the iPad is not dead. Maybe it has a problem with a display. Maybe it has a problem with a charging circuit. Maybe it's not charging. Maybe it's not able to display the image on the screen. So the first thing I will do is to connect it to a charger. And as you can see, it's not drawing any current. So that means it's not charging. Let's try to connect it to computer and see if the iTunes will be able to detect it or no. And the iTunes was not able to detect the iPad. So let's move on to the next step, which is checking how much voltage the battery has. The battery has 2.6 volts, which is not enough to make this iPad turn on. Minimum should have 3.6, 3.7 volts to make this iPad turn on. So the battery right now is below the required charge to be able to turn on this device. In the same time, the iPad is not drawing any current from the charger, so the battery is not able to charge. Let's check the board under the microscope and I can see that the RF shield is not removed so no one has touched this uh, PCB before but I can see here uh, three capacitors in very bad shape and I guess that's because of liquid spill or liquid damage so whenever you have a capacitor in bad shape you have to look for short let's put the multimeter in diode mode and if you wanna uh, use diode mode you have to disassemble the battery you cannot use diode mode with the battery uh, or any power source uh, connected to the PCB and then I will lift the PCB little up to disconnect the PCB from the battery and let's check the diode mode value or resistance to ground on those uh, three capacitors uh, from experience, I can tell that this is the uh, ground uh, lead because uh, the liquid didn't uh, affect it. The liquid always affects the positive lead. And I see that this capacitor is connected uh, to ground from uh, the two leads, which is not right. Capacitor should not uh, be connected to ground from the two leads. This one also, I see the positive is connected to ground and that one also the same. So maybe uh, those three capacitors are in the same line and this line has a short. But what line is that? Unfortunately, we cannot know what line is that without a schematic. But there is no schematic diagram for this iPad model. What I have here is the ZXW dongle or software, which show me a layout for the board with no information for this iPad. Of course, because there is no schematic. Uh, they cannot put the information without a schematic. They need a schematic. There is some models has uh, like part number and the value, but this model, unfortunately, uh, we don't have any information like the line name or uh, the value, how many voltages on this line. We don't have this uh, one here, but what I can see that this cap is connected with uh, the other two, which is giving me a short. Any one of them uh, could be the one who is creating this uh, short because they are uh, in very bad shape. And I can see that this line is connected to the power management chip. It doesn't seem like a main power rail, but I cannot tell what is this uh, line for. What I can only see here, uh, it's connected to the 
main power chip. By the way, this software is called ZXW. I will leave a link down the video for this software. It's not free, it's $60, I guess. Last time I checked. If you are in the repair business or you have a repair shop or you are a technician, of course you need this software to be able to uh, get more information about the board. So what I will do now is to knock off uh, those three capacitors. And I can see they are uh, parallel capacitors and they are not the only uh, ones in this line. So if I uh, removed it, it will not affect the line. Let's check again for short. Now I get a, a diode mode reading or resistance to ground. Uh, that's mean there's no short. I will connect the battery and let's plug a charger and now it's consuming amps Which means that the iPad is charging. Let's keep it charging a while uh, To get the 3.7 volts, then I will connect the uh, LCD and give it a final test. Obviously That was an easy one and easy money, but due to lack of knowledge or equipment the other technician was not able to fix it. If you like this video, give me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you want to see in my next video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you get notified whenever I release a new video. My work here is done, I'll see you next one.